HBO Max has temporarily pulled Gone with the Wind off the streaming service. The streaming service says that it's concerned about the movie's racist depictions of African Americans. It will offer the movie again with disclaimers down the line. Well, the TV show Cops likely is not coming back. It has been canceled by Paramount Network, owned by Viacom CBS, the parent company of WBZ. And both companies moved quickly to respond to current events. But as WBZ's John Keller found out, that may not be enough. These statements of solidarity, whatever you want to call them, um, are basically the cover charge to do business in America right now. Retired BU professor John Carroll says that while Cops is still a successful show, its owners are correctly reading the writing on the streets. To have a show, even a show that's run for 30-something years, that is basically designed to glorify the police is out of, out of sync with the times right now. It's out of sync with public attitudes. But he adds, there's risk in the rush to be righteous. It can also backfire. Look what happened with the initial statement that the NFL made. It, you know, to call it eyewash is an insult to saline solution everywhere. It was so counterproductive. It was so bland and lawyered up that it really backfired on them. And while companies like HBO might earn points for pulling old movies full of racial stereotypes, Carol expects that alone won't deter activists from demanding more corporate accountability. What are you specifically doing about this? Are you contributing money? Are you changing the, uh, the, uh, the racial diversity of your corporation? Are you creating more opportunities for people of color? You know, those are the things that are going to count in the end, not the slogans, not the statements of solidarity. And this is not to say that some of the executives making these decisions aren't legitimately upset about what they're seeing and acting on principle, but when you see NASCAR banning displays of the Confederate flag at their races, it's got to tell you that there's something powerful in the air that's moving the needle here. And Liam how much Paula? of that power, John, is economic versus political pressure? You know, this always seems to be the way that the political establishment lags behind uh, the private sector and business. Uh, think of the green movement still very much stalled in Congress, but very much a part of branding and advertising around America. This reminds me of that, and it's an indication of the power of the purse when it comes to changing attitudes in this country. And you know activists will be checking back a year from now, two years from now. John Keller, thanks so much. We have much more.